I mean, to me, my the, the way I take it is, I, I like to do as much as possible in little time. Like you know, like if I'm doing, if I can fit a spin around, if I can fit a shoulder spin off, or something <clears throat> in my juggle, I want to add it just to make it, just to keep both ends covered. This way, it sounds good and it looks good, and it's like it's even though it sounds good, it's technical, and the tricks that I'm doing. But it is technical as well, this way just to keep that balance, you know? My name is Rock Raider from the Executionist. And what are you going to show us? Right now I'm going to go through uh, some body tricks, some combinations. Okay, I'm going to use the... Which is three words. I got certain tricks that I do with the... And certain tricks that I do with the, just the bells. What I do is I practice it, right? But I practice it from a more realistic approach. Like, for example, if there's a trick where I have to pull the record back a little bit to get to the rock because I'm over here, mm -hmm. I'll spin the record back just a little bit more than I would any other time. <laughs> I do certain tricks for certain parts of the record. Like I might do the, I might move the fader from behind with my back and go. Because you need that, that little bit of extra time to get it on. And, and then again, you want to keep it on beat. So you need that little bit of extra time that the rock does giving you. So it's like, rock the bells. This way, because there's no other way to do that trick. If you go off beat, you're gonna sound off beat. You don't want to do that. So you want to keep the trick sounding clean and looking, you know, and looking. I mean, once you practice it and just really get used to doing the trick, that's the that's the key. You have to get used to doing the trick. You have to be able to execute your trick while you're drunk. Execute your trick while your table is shaking out of control. You have to be you have to be confident that you can do that trick no matter what what you know like what's going on like sometimes I do sets and I can't even see because they have the lights flashing and all that and all I can see is my marks I can't hear and it's like it's real like you know so it's like sometimes I have to follow my marks for this record for a trick record I'll use a big nylon mark this way if I'm at if I'm somewhere where there's no light on stage I always have something to follow so I'm gonna take the rock the bells and do let's say three or four combinations, okay? <laughs> what happens is, all this at the same time, you always have to remember that I have to backspin this record, so my arm is grabbing this, bringing this back, and going around like that. So the whole thing is, while wow, this is playing, I'm... So it's like I'm grabbing the record, getting it in position, and turning it around. My shoulder, I call that a shoulder spin-off, because I take, go right about here and spin off. I guess it's kind of like uh, being a boxer, how you have a whole bunch of combinations that you learn one at a time but then you learn how to put those combinations together and after a while you can just freestyle you don't have to go up there like okay I'm going to throw a jab and a body blow it's like you can be like whatever I'm just going to freestyle the whole set <laughs> 